Let's leave football and um, take a look at tennis, where you do justice with the racket. The 13th edition of the CBN Junior Tennis Championship serves off in Lagos. As many as 150 young players from all over the country are taking part in the competition in the boys and girls on the 10, 12, 14 and 16. Correspondent Solomon Ajiziogo visited the tennis center in Lagos. It's been a rush of junior championships across many sports in the month of April. First, we had the junior handball championships in the under 13 and under 16 at the Mopalaji Johnson Sports Center, Row Park, Yaba. Just last week, it was the turn of squash where the ex professionals under 13 and under 16 championship took place at the Teslin Balogun Stadium. Now it's the turn of tennis and one of the longest running junior tennis championships, the CBN Junior Tennis Championships in the under 10, under 12, under 14 and under 16 categories will be taking center stage at the tennis center of the national stadium here in Suruleri. In preparation for the event, some of the young stars are here at the national stadium training in readiness for the competition. I've been training every day. I come to stadium every day to train. I've been working so hard and for now I'm feeling relaxed so that I can prepare my mind for tomorrow game. I'm prepared for any old body that comes. I'm real I'm well trained now and think I can make it now. More than 150 players are expected to take part as the competition serves up. The training and development competition by the International Tennis Academy ITA has midwiped the transition of young players to the senior level. Some of them, like Mary Love Edwards, have moved abroad in readiness to launching their professional careers. I want to be a good player, just like the Williams, those people playing, I want to be one of them too. Everybody should be able to play and then one will also be the winner. But um, the only thing that can bring somebody down is fear. In my expectation in the tournament this year, for me to be more better than last time, to win more people, the people that beat me last time, I'm um, trying to, to learn more from people, from coaches. It is in keeping with the pledge of most of the sports associations at their election in 2017 of going back to the grassroots to unearth fresh talents that will represent Nigeria. TBC Sport Desk. Well, to indeed take a look at um, the ongoing CBN Junior Tennis Championship is um, Solomon Ajiziogo. Well, let's take a look at um, these young tennis players who are indeed um, getting um, another opportunity um, in terms of um, sport development. How excited should um, sport fans be in the country? We've seen a lot of um, federations coming up with young sport developmental programs. Um, Solomon. Um, well, I, I think that uh, what we have seen so far is just a reflection of what the sports associations and the sports federations promised in 2017 when the elections were held. Right after that election, you realize that a lot of the federations didn't do, almost didn't do anything for, for a year until um, 2018 when they started events. Uh, some of them relaunched their leagues, especially for handball, for instance. The handball people decided that, look, that the, the handball players uh, uh, featuring for Nigeria at the senior level have grown too old and so they needed to be phased out. So they started a younger, um, uh, put together a younger competition on the 18s, on the 21s, and lately, just early this month, the under-18 and under-19 uh, won the Intercontinental Cup, uh, came second in, in the Intercontinental Cup in Kosovo. Um, apart from handball, we've seen uh, squash. Uh, squash pros also came on board. It's just three years. Uh, the third edition of the tournament ended this month. And um, it's all about young people. And all they just want to do is go back to the grassroots, uh, go back to development, and try to get new players that will replace the older ones. Well, um, talking about tennis now, Solomon, we have um, a certain young star who has what it takes in terms of exposure and all that, uh, Mary Love Edwards. Uh, do you see Nigeria producing another Duke, so to say? in the future as far as tennis is concerned? 
Well, I think that Nigeria as a country so far hasn't invested enough to be able to develop, uh, to grow, groom another Nduka Odizo, David Imonite, and the rest of them. Uh, but at the private level, people are doing a lot. Um, for 13 consecutive years, you've had the International Tennis Academy, headed by Godwin Kienka, a former player himself, um, trying to develop these players, trying to groom talent. He's got a whole lot of competitions at the grassroots level he's put together. The Junior Tennis Championship, which served off today uh, at, the at the Tennis Center of the National Stadium in Surulere, is one of those events. It's in its 13th year. It has produced Mary Love Edwards. It has produced um, a whole lot of other players who are already planning and looking forward to staging a professional career. Now, Mary Love won't be taking part in the competition this year. Uh, she had won the competition twice as a 14-year-old. She's gone to the U.S. preparatory to building a professional career at one of the most prestigious tennis academies in the United States. Well, we can go on and on to they take a look at um, sport development as far as um, the country is concerned. I must say a very big thank you, Solomon Ajizio, for indeed um, finding out time to talk about um, the CBN Tennis Championship.